Welcome to the exciting world of ethical hacking. In this digital age, cybersecurity is more important than ever. As our reliance on technology grows, so does the need to protect our systems and data from those with malicious intent. Ethical hackers play a vital role in this fight. They use their skills to find and fix vulnerabilities before the bad guys can exploit them. Think of it like this. Ethical hackers are like the good detectives of the cyber world. They use their knowledge and tools to investigate systems, looking for weaknesses that could be exploited. But instead of using their findings for illegal activities, they report them to the owners of the systems, allowing them to fix the vulnerabilities and make their systems more secure. This essay will guide you through the basics of creating your own hacking tools. We'll cover everything from choosing the right programming language to testing your tools in a safe environment. But before we dive in, let's be crystal clear. Hacking is a powerful tool that should always be used ethically and responsibly. Always obtain explicit permission before attempting to access any computer system or network that you do not own. Remember, the goal of ethical hacking is to make the digital world a safer place for everyone. So let's get started. Before you can start building your own hacking tools, you'll need to choose a programming language. Think of programming languages as the different tools in a hacker's toolbox. Each language has its strengths and weaknesses, making it suitable for specific tasks. Python is an excellent choice for beginners. It's relatively easy to learn and has a vast collection of libraries specifically designed for hacking and cybersecurity. Python's simple syntax allows you to focus on the logic of your tools rather than getting bogged down in complex code. If you're looking for raw power and speed, C slash C++ might be your weapon of choice. These languages are closer to the hardware level, giving you more control over system resources. However, they come with a steeper learning curve compared to Python. JavaScript is another popular language, especially for web-based hacking tools. Since JavaScript runs directly in web browsers, it's perfect for creating tools that interact with websites and web applications. Mastering JavaScript opens up a world of possibilities for testing and exploiting web vulnerabilities. Ultimately, the best programming language for you depends on your individual goals and the types of hacking tools you want to create. Don't be afraid to experiment with different languages and find the one that best suits your style and the task at hand. Understanding how websites work is crucial for any aspiring ethical hacker. Websites are built using a combination of three core technologies, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. HTML provides the structure and content of a web page, like text, images, and links. CSS dictates the visual presentation, such as colors, fonts, and layout. JavaScript adds interactivity and dynamic behavior to websites. Think of it like building a house. HTML is the foundation and framework. CSS is the paint and decorations, and JavaScript is the electricity that brings everything to life. To effectively test the security of web applications, you need to know how these technologies interact with each other. By understanding HTML, you can analyze a website structure and identify potential vulnerabilities. CSS knowledge helps you understand how style sheets can be manipulated to create phishing attacks or other visual exploits. JavaScript is particularly important for understanding how websites handle user input and data validation. Mastering these technologies will equip you with the knowledge to identify and exploit web vulnerabilities. You'll be able to analyze website code, understand how data is transmitted, and even manipulate web pages to test their security. In the interconnected world of the Internet, computers communicate with each other using a set of rules called network protocols. These protocols define how data is formatted, transmitted, and received across networks. For ethical hackers, understanding network protocols is like having a blueprint of how information flows between systems. One of the most fundamental protocols is TCP/IP, which stands for Transmission Control Protocol Internet Protocol. TCP IP is the suite of protocols that forms the backbone of the Internet. It governs how data is broken down into packets, addressed, transmitted, and reassembled at the destination. HTTP, or Hypertext Transfer Protocol, is another crucial protocol that dictates how web browsers communicate with web servers. Understanding HTTP is essential for analyzing web traffic, identifying vulnerabilities in web applications, and even crafting your own tools to interact with websites. DNS, or Domain Name System, 
is the protocol that translates human readable domain names like google.com comma into numerical IP addresses that computers use to identify each other. DNS is a common target for hackers, so understanding how it works is crucial for defending against attacks. By mastering network protocols, you gain valuable insights into how data flows across networks, enabling you to identify vulnerabilities and develop tools to test and improve network security. Your Hacking Toolkit Essential Libraries and Tools Just like a carpenter needs a toolbox full of specialized tools, ethical hackers rely on libraries and tools to streamline their work and perform complex tasks efficiently. Libraries are collections of pre-written code that provide ready-made functions and modules for specific tasks, saving you from reinventing the wheel. Scapy is a powerful Python library designed for network manipulation and analysis. It allows you to create and send custom network packets, capture and analyze network traffic, and even perform network attacks in a controlled environment. Scapy is an invaluable tool for understanding network protocols and developing network-based hacking tools. Requests is another essential Python library that simplifies making HTTP requests. With requests, you can easily interact with websites, send and receive data, and even automate tasks like web scraping or testing web applications for vulnerabilities. Sockets form the foundation of network communication in many programming languages. A socket acts as an endpoint for communication between two processes, allowing data to flow between them. Mastering socket programming is crucial for building custom network tools, such as port scanners or even your own chat applications. These are just a few examples of the many libraries and tools available to ethical hackers. As you delve deeper into the world of hacking, you'll discover a vast ecosystem of open source tools and libraries that cater to specific needs. Building your first hacking tools, port scanners and password crackers. Now that you have a basic understanding of programming languages, web technologies and network protocols, let's put your knowledge into practice by building some simple hacking tools. We'll start with two classic tools, a port scanner and a password cracker. A port scanner is a tool that scans a target computer or network for open ports. Ports are like virtual doors that allow different services to communicate. By scanning ports, you can identify which services are running on a system, which can help you find potential vulnerabilities. Building a basic port scanner in Python is relatively straightforward using the socket library. You can iterate through a range of ports and attempt to establish a connection to each one. If the connection is successful, the port is open and you can log the information. A password cracker is a tool that attempts to guess passwords. While brute forcing passwords is generally ineffective against strong passwords, building a simple password cracker can teach you about hashing algorithms and password security. You can create a basic password cracker that takes a list of common passwords, hashes them using the same algorithm as the target system, and compares the hashes. If a match is found, the password is cracked. Remember, these are just basic examples, and real-world hacking tools are often far more complex. However, building these simple tools will give you a solid foundation in ethical hacking and inspire you to explore more advanced concepts. Level up your hacking game crafting advanced tools. As you gain more experience, you can start developing more advanced hacking tools. These tools often involve a deeper understanding of system architecture, network security, and exploit development. One example of an advanced tool is a vulnerability scanner. Vulnerability scanners automate the process of finding weaknesses in systems and applications. They use a database of known vulnerabilities and scan target systems for potential matches. Building a vulnerability scanner requires knowledge of common vulnerabilities such as SQL injection, cross-site scripting, XSS, and buffer overflows. You'll need to understand how to exploit these vulnerabilities and how to write code that can detect them. Another advanced tool is a packet sniffer. Packet sniffers capture and analyze network traffic, allowing you to see the data that's being transmitted between systems. This can be useful for debugging network issues, analyzing network security, and even intercepting sensitive data in a controlled and ethical environment, of course. Developing a packet sniffer requires a strong understanding of network protocols and how to interact with network interfaces programmatically. 
you'll need to be able to capture raw network packets and parse them to extract meaningful information. The power of automation, letting your tools do the work. Automation is a key aspect of ethical hacking. By automating repetitive tasks, you can free up time and focus on more complex aspects of your work. Many hacking tasks, such as port scanning, vulnerability scanning, and even exploit development, can be automated to some extent. Scripting languages like Python are particularly well-suited for automation. You can write scripts to automate tasks like network discovery, service enumeration, and even basic exploit attempts. Automation can also help you improve the efficiency of your tools. For example, you can automate the process of updating your vulnerability scanner's database with the latest exploits, ensuring that your tools are always up to date. However, it's important to use automation responsibly. Automated tools can be powerful, and it's essential to use them ethically and within legal boundaries. Safe and sound. Testing your tools in a virtual lab. Before unleashing your hacking tools on the real world, it's crucial to test them in a safe and controlled environment. A virtual lab is an isolated network of virtual machines that you can use to experiment with your tools without risking damage to real systems. Virtualization software like VirtualBox or VMware allows you to create and run virtual machines on your computer. You can set up different operating systems, network configurations, and security settings to simulate real-world scenarios. Testing your tools in a virtual lab allows you to identify and fix bugs, fine-tune their performance, and ensure that they work as intended without any unintended consequences. It also provides a safe space to practice your hacking skills and experiment with different techniques. Remember, ethical hacking is all about responsible disclosure. Testing your tools in a virtual lab ensures that you're not putting any real systems at risk while you're honing your skills. Staying ahead of the curve, keeping pace with cybersecurity trends. The world of cybersecurity is constantly evolving. New threats emerge every day, and attackers are always finding new ways to exploit vulnerabilities. To stay ahead of the curve, it's crucial to stay updated with the latest cybersecurity trends. Follow cybersecurity blogs, news websites, and social media accounts to stay informed about the latest threats, vulnerabilities, and mitigation techniques. Attend cybersecurity conferences and workshops to learn from experts and network with other professionals. Keeping your knowledge and skills up to date is essential for developing effective hacking tools and staying one step ahead of the bad guys. The more you know about the latest threats and vulnerabilities, the better equipped you'll be to develop tools that can detect and prevent them. Conclusion, the Ethical Hacker's Pledge. Congratulations on taking your first steps into the world of ethical hacking. By learning how to create your own hacking tools, you're joining a community of skilled professionals who are dedicated to making the digital world a safer place. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Always use your skills ethically and legally. Obtain proper authorization before testing systems or networks that you do not own. And never stop learning. The field of cybersecurity is constantly evolving, so stay curious, stay informed, and never stop honing your skills. By using your knowledge and skills for good, you can make a real difference in the fight against cybercrime. So go out there, build awesome tools, and use them to make the digital world a safer place for everyone.